Welcome, heels and villains, to the Juke Enterprise YouTube channel. As always, I'm your host, Juke. And, as you can tell by the title of this video, we're talking, once again, about the Council of Demir EDH deck that I have. Now, we're going to go into the artifacts of the deck. We're going to skip over the mana locks, because this deck has four mana locks. And none of them are that good. Some of the cards fit Demir. Some of the cards are just good cards. And some of the cards I put in because... Why not? The f the, I've never got to use the cards, so why not put it in an EDH deck? An EDH deck well, is supposed to have big spells that do funky things. So why not have that in this deck? You don't need to hear me drag or drone on and on about the artifacts. Let's get to that part of the video with a cut here. To quote a bigger YouTuber, first off, this Wayfair has Bobble. Wayfair Bobble costs one, and then you pay two sacrifices and switch your deck for a basic command card and put it into play tapped and shuffle your library. I, it's not a matter of arc, it is fetch. There's a difference. Next we have an Alter of Dementia, because if your deck is your mind and you mill your deck, you're obviously going insane. And what better way to represent that than Alter of Dementia, which costs two, sacrifice a creature, and then mill equal to that creature's power, target player's library. If this was a graveyard deck, it would be very, very helpful, but it's not. And then there's the last right, which is a living weapon, which gives plus, plus, plus one, plus one for each swamp you control, and you can equ and it, it's a living weapon, so it comes with a germ. If you want to kill the germ, you can equip it to another creature by paying two black or four life, or one black and two life, or two black. I think I already mentioned the two black. It can make a big it can make creatures really big. And then there's Tepanation Blade, which mills and then powers up the creature depending on how many cards you mill, because you mill until you hit what? Until you reveal a land card. So Yeah. It costs three to come down and equips for two. It fits the theme of the deck very well of messing with the opponent's deck by mailing. Whip a silk cloak because unblockable is good and shroud is good. Not an auto included on my deck, but still a good card. Then you have Mask of Riddles, which gives a quick creature fear, and when it hits an opponent, I may draw a card. Fear is like intimidate, but better. Fear is can't be blocked by black or and or artifact creatures. Intimidate is can't be blocked by creatures of the same color and or artifact creatures. Fear can go on any color creature, and therefore, and then they get, and then they get the fear, and then they can't be blocked except by black or artifact creatures. Well, if I put this on a, blue, if it was intimidate and it was on a blue black creatures, there'd be blue black. And artifacts that can't block it. This way, it's only ever black. Therefore, fear is better than intimidate. I opened Oberus, the Binding Blade, very shortly after the set came out. I think I opened them in the play release. I didn't win the play release. But I open it in the play release. Seven for a legendary artifact equipment gives creature plus one plus zero and equips for one. Now you might be sitting there thinking, that doesn't sound like a good deal at all. Why would you pay seven for just plus one plus zero? Oh, seems a horrible deal. Well, when it deals combat damage to a player, you get a transform it. What do you transform into? The secret honorary council member of the Council of Demir. 
Who is a secret honorary council member of the Council of Demir? Well, you'll see in just a sec. Withingar, unbound, flying, intimidate, and trample. You should have fear, because if you change its color, or, or if, the, if the opponent changes its color, or makes them all colors, then intimidate is useless. I don't like intimidate, can you tell? I don't like intimidate that much. Anyways, whenever a player loses the game, put 13 plus 1 plus 1 counters on Withingar, unbound. So yeah, he's a 13-13, who can become much bigger when people start dying. Oh, I'll see because middle. Each of these cards, except for the Wayfarer's Bobble, fits the theme of the deck, which is messing with the opponent. And how do you mess with the opponent? You mess with the deck by either removing cards, mailing cards, or killing opponents and becoming huge. All ways to mess with future and past opponents. Which is basically what this deck does, is messes with opponent's decks. Circular will remove cards. Tabernation Blade will mail. All in good fun and games. Anyways, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to do all the YouTube things like comment, subscribe, and share the video. Comment, comment, comment.